Well, Tejas Network is in focus because they've announced an acquisition. Now, they're looking at acquiring Sankhya Labs at a value of around 284 crore rupees. Remember, Sankhya Labs is a wireless service solution provider. They have 5G capabilities as well as they have semiconductor solutions. And this is something which is going to augur well for Tejas Networks as well. In terms of the other key details where the consideration is going to be paid in cash, either in a tranche or in multiple tranches, and it is expected that the acquisition will be completed over the next next 90 days. The company has also kept the option open to buy the rest of the stake uh, either through a merger later or through the secondary market operations as well. Now in terms of the key synergies, um, the acquisition is going to enhance Tejas Network's wireless offerings because the IPR portfolio of the company comes in with 73 patents as well as they have quite a bit of presence when it comes to the international geographies as well. The acquisition will add 5G ORAN as well as cellular broadcast and satellite communication services to the portfolio of of uh, Tejas Networks and that is something which is taken well by the street. In fact, the management also talks about how they're looking at expanding the service profile when it comes to the 5G network area, which is uh, the next uh, big thing for the industry uh, and that is being taken well by the street. In terms of the valuations, um, well, we had seen a dip in the company's revenue, the acquisition company's um, uh, revenue in FI21 because the revenue had fallen to the level of 40 crores as compared to 90 crores that was there in FI20. But if you look at the uh, FI22, uh, you know, run rate so far in the nine months gone by, it stood at tune of around 74 crores. So the valuations uh, do look all right. And the fact that these 5G services are getting added to the product portfolio of Tejas Networks is something which is liked by the street.